at the UN General Assembly, Gary Davis, the citizen of the world who had already made a name for himself at the beginning of the session by sitting on the terraces of the Palais de Chaillot, now claimed to be associated informally with the work of the United Nations. Expelled before he could say a single word, he saw his arguments taken up by one of his disciples. In the name of the peoples of the world who are not represented here, I interrupt you. My words will probably be meaningless to you, and yet our need for world order... Despite the sudden attention of the Soviet delegate and the uproar caused in the audience by this unexpected intervention, the words of world citizen number two did not disturb the work of the UN for long. The rules are thus respected, but is it always good to respect the rules? Meanwhile, in a Parisian hotel, world citizen Gary Davis is getting organized. A loner a few months ago, he is now the leader of a movement, a movement that only wants to expand and whose living space has already gained a few dozen rooms. A considerable amount of mail arrives every day from all over the world. A small army of volunteer secretaries are busy answering all these letters which, in different forms, still speak the same language. Gary Davis, by opening the register of world citizens, has triggered a movement to liberate a human desire until now enclosed in the dead frame of ideologies. And it is perhaps a sign of the strength of this idea that the universality which seems to surround it and which is expressed for a moment by the number of envelopes and the diversity of postage stamps.